we're right now doing, I'm actually in my office, Amber's in her office, we're doing a people analyzer. So a minute ago, uh, we, we went through our core values and we came up with um, drive and integrity and teamwork and leadership. That's really yep. what they come down to. But now we're rating everybody individually in the company with a scoring system and it might get dicey because we're all going to now. Uncomfortable, yeah. Yeah, it might get uncomfortable because now we have to face each other. Right. And say, I think you're weak in this area or I think you're, by the way, am I strong in everything? Well, everything except the get it one in capacity. <laughs> Are you crazy? No. You don't think I want it? Um, no, I think you want it. I don't think you necessarily want all the responsibilities that go along with getting it. This is going to get dicey because I didn't know that I was on the chopping block. <laughs> don't want it because you don't like the details. You're not a detail that's guy. That's why that, I hire other people but, to do it. I know, but that's not a negative. It's because you don't like that oh, aspect. no, not a negative. It's I, actually not a negative you, I gave Amber uh, raving reviews across the top. She, of course, in typical Amber form, sticks it to me right publicly because she likes to do that. Bring it. I'll be happy to discuss it on camera with everybody <laughs> else in front of the whole team. That's great. Did you have me all the way across? I actually do, and I use you as one of my examples of people that I admire. <laughs> And I wasn't even supposed to. He I told broke us the not rule. to use that. And he I broke the rules that. because I, that's because what I do. Because you're a rule breaker. I'm a rule breaker, so that's what I do, but. All right, Glenn, how do you rate Amber and Drive? Minus, Go minus, right. minus, minus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amber, Amber, I have plus, 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 plus. Yes, yes, yes. Bottom line is that you might think that as a real estate investment company, that our biggest investment is real estate. The truth is it's not. Our biggest investment is our people and our team. That's why we're spending time going through this. We went through a plus minus system. Um, we just went through all this with every employee and it really gave some perspective. They graded me and I didn't pass every, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't up to par. And so I was, it's, we're being open about what we're dropping the ball on and we're being open with them with they're dropping the ball on. And if we're going to build a big team and scale it and become a nationwide real estate investment company, we, we have to invest in the right people, then train the right people, then lead the right people and then help them become their best. And if we do that, Everything else will fall into place. So that's what we're doing right now. My core values. One of the questions is, does the person does the person get it? Do they want it? Do they have the capacity? Everybody said Spencer got it and he wanted it, but every single person said he doesn't have the capacity, meaning he can't do all the things he's trying to do right now. So we have to get help for him so he can do a better job. But this process allows us to be different. This process allows us to be better and really extract what's going wrong, but also reinforce what's going right. Because the bottom line is, if team members don't share the same values that Amber and I share as owners, they're not gonna work here. They've gotta share your values of drive, honesty, integrity, teamwork, and leadership. They have to have those core values of ours. And if they have those, sky's the limit. And that's what we're doing. All right, get back to my meeting. Today was a lot. <laughs> it's amazing how much, like, you know, mental energy it takes even to sit in front of a computer screen all day. Our purpose, today we came up with through a worksheet process was to grow a, th a thriving company with great people making impactful results through residential real estate. Yes. We set up a goal the next five years for this company by itself to be doing $15 million and be able to give, um, you know, 10% of our uh, driving at least 20% um, profits to the bottom line and give 10% of that back to a combination of our people and uh, local children's charities that mean a lot to us. Yep. So that's that's the driving force, that's kind of the, the, the heart of it that makes us go, and that's what we're doing any company. We're here to make money, we're here to give back and help our help build a great team of people as well. You know, our son is right here. I'm gonna, he's not gonna like this, but come here. I, our son is part of, of all of multiples of our company. So this is our son, Dakota. We got a lot more to go over tomorrow. We're gonna dive into, we're gonna dive into more drilling down from a, from a uh, they call it a BHAG goal, a big, hairy, audacious goal. A I BHAG. love that word, audacious. Yeah, big, hairy, audacious goal. That's our, that's our five-year target. And then from there, we're gonna start drilling down to a three-year target and a one-year target. We're gonna get really get granular on that. And they, they said, I have to take my dream, my dream hat off. We have to get the, real, the realistic numbers. So our accounting team is there to figure that out. So we're gonna drill that Tom's down. He's a very big picture thinker. So we have to like rein him in sometimes to focus on the things that are a little closer. They like to mock me, but they forget that they're all living and working in my dreams. So that's how that works. So it does, it all starts someplace. It starts there. So, all right. Tomorrow's a new day. We're gonna yep. keep at it. Today, I guess we're gonna dive into 
a lot more of what we call our rocks. And the rocks are what we're gonna be doing over the next quarter and over the next uh, one year and three years. Yesterday we talked more about our, our you know, five-year goals. And so we're, we're gonna break those down now so we have manageable steps to get through it. So I'm not sure what to expect today. We had two new people that were on the call yesterday. We got pretty intense yesterday about um, you know how we all work together, that kind of stuff. So I'm really curious to see if the two people show up today. So we'll see what happens. So the biggest rock we're going to try to achieve, I think, today is our actual revenue and profit goals. That's really what we want: our revenue and our profit goals, and everything else sort of falls underneath that. But our revenue and profit goals are where we want to get to because that's how you that's how you build an amazing life. Here we go. Today we're you know going over marketing plans and processes and uh, two and three year goal setting ideas. And goal setting is always cool because you really get to dream and kind of think about the future and sometimes you get so busy in the here and now and working in the business that it's hard to find time to work on it so like really setting aside this time to work on the next you know two to three years is is exciting and it's even a deeper sense of others because of how deep it goes it's compassion it's others first to its purest so that's why you that's why you love helping other people. That's why you like one of probably one of the things you love more than anything about this business is how it helps others. So this morning we dove into a lot. It's been a very, as they claimed, a very heavy mind day. It's been a lot going on today. And we are now discussing where we're going. First we talked about the year 2021 and in the real estate game it is so challenging right now to know what's gonna happen with who's gonna be elected. That could really change the game dramatically. Um, you know, interest rates are at an incredibly low price right now, so things are moving, but pretty soon all the forbearance stuff's gonna come out and they're gonna stop giving all the free money that they're giving for COVID. So when that happens, we're gonna sort of see a collapse. And so we really are unsure what's going to happen. There'll still be buyers and sellers, we just have to figure out the game. So it's a little difficult to project what 2021 is gonna look like when you're not sure how 2020 is gonna end but you still have to make a plan so we're making a plan right now this has been a lot and i tell you when you're growing a business you have to have other people there to help you see what you don't see that's the only way you'll go to the next level in life so that's what we're doing now so.